mm-hmm. the guy, even though he is incarcerated, mm-hmm. he um, does. Everyone makes mistakes. Everyone you know. makes mistakes. Yeah. And I'm not saying he made a mistake because he still is pro- pro- he is still proclaiming his innocence. And his uh, legal team has filed, you know, motions to deal with that as well. Um, but I'm saying no one's perfect. I did receive from my anonymous source who sends me anonymous tea on Real Housewives of Atlanta. I did receive an email with the actual motion, the legal motion that was filed that Sheree just referred to in that interview. The email says three days after the Real Housewives of Atlanta season 10 trailer was released, Tyrone Gilliam's attorney filed a motion attaching exhibits of breathtaking, inexcusable evidence that was withheld by the U.S. Attorney's Office of the Southern District of New York to frame and convict Tyrone Gilliams in prison. Tyrone Gilliams, a commodities trader and the significant other of Sheree Whitfield, is in prison for crimes he didn't commit, contrary to what has been said. Affidavits and agreements, see attached filings, attest and affirm the actual scheme and crime committed has never mentioned Gilliams. In fact, the scheme was devised and acted upon nine months before Gilliams was even known of. The Real Thieves and Karn Artists, and it gives the names of five people that belong to Hart Church in Buckley, Washington, were protected by the U.S. Attorney's Office, and it gives the name of the U.S. Attorney at that time. Gilliam's attorney most recently found that $2.4 million of Gilliam's was stolen from Ghana by the same U.S. Attorney's Office, and to date never was credited to Gilliam's. Judge Deborah Butts, who presided over Gilliam's case, ignored the facts. Bravo must have known about the new development around Gilliam's and is looking forward to the unraveling of these facts while they're still taping. Tyrone and Sheree's romance is part of this milestone 10th anniversary season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. The fans of the highest rated show on Bravo might also get to see some real court TV. All right, so these are the actual motions that were filed and they are very long and detailed. If you would like to see the full documents, just leave a comment and then I'll post the full documents up on my blog, LaylaLynn.com. So being that Sheree is talking about the motions that are being filed in Tyrone Gilliam's court case in interviews, it's possible that we may just see this play out on this season of Real Housewives of Atlanta. And speaking of court TV, I just wanted to let you guys know that Phaedra Parks is planning a court TV show of her own. Radar Online reports that she had an idea for an arbitration-based reality court show and pitched it to Bravo in 2013. They passed on it after her husband, Apollo Nida, was charged with fraud. Recently, being that she is completely and finally divorced, she's been hoping to shop it to another network or distributor. So Phaedra Parks may be coming back to your TV screens. <laughs> 